Bonjour mes amis, bonjour, good morning, uh, I am in uh, Paris, uh, you can tell. Sacre bleu, celle-ci n'est pas le Eiffel Tower, c'est le Blackpool Tower. Mais Charles, où sont les crackheads Mais attends, attends, patience, les crackheads sont dans le city center. Ok, no more French accent. Uh, I think I'm at Blackpool Football Club. A way entry access for turnstiles, I can see a football ground and there appears to be a chink in the armor. Now it's not my uh, my friend Jonathan Wong wearing Kevlar protection, no. A chink in the armor is in a hole in the fence, but it doesn't look like it's... Yeah, actually it looks like anyone's allowed in here. Okay, what have we got here? Blackpool Football Club Community Trust. You gotta love the symbols of modern Britain. Look at that background of the blue. Hope you're all enjoying the 60 frames per second. It's a warm enough day, but it's very windy down by the sea here in Blackpool. Um, you can get free parking in Blackpool, but as you can see, I've, um, where is it? I've uh, parked a good mile and a half away from the city center, but it just means you have to walk. Walking's good for you. We're all overweight. We could all do more steps in a day. So thank you, Blackpool Council, for forcing me to park on the absolute outskirts. I only had to dodge three junkies to get to where I am. As always, apologies for the wind noise. We are beside the British seaside, and so it's uh, very windy. Yesterday was a warm day, and uh, the British gods of weather, they're like, ah, oh, you want a nice sunny day? Half gale force winds, fuck you. I think I'm at the budget end. I think I'm in North Vegas, guys. <laughs> Or in, in South Blackpool, I think. Coniston House Hotel, Lonsdale Road. That's not the best bit. The best bit is the little collection of bridal uh, dolls in the woman's window. Perfectly normal. Come stay in my hotel. What hotel's that? It's the sweet dreams are made of scary dolls. There was a YouTuber not too long ago, Ed Chapman. Ed Somethingman. Ed Somethingman. Anyway, he stayed in one of these hotels here in Blackpool for the sum total of nine pounds a night. Not nine pounds, guys, $11 for a hotel room. And he said it was okay, you know, for the price. So just off camera, um, guys, are, oh my God, what are the chances? Charlie, hello. He's uh, renovating one of the hotels down there. Airedale, I think, really nice guy. I said, can, I, can you appear on video? He didn't want to appear, which is fair enough. Fair enough, I wouldn't want to appear on my channel. But uh, really nice guy. I wish him well with his hotel renovation. I hope it all goes well. Swiss hotel. This uh, this is a cool street. And he told me uh, there's uh, not just that Ed Chapman guy. There's a uh, wandering turnip, uh, Steve something. They've all been on this street staying in these. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. Come on, guests. Nine pound hotel. Great escape hotel. Look at that printed off Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> Deal. Anyway, Blackpool is extremely self-aware of how it's a uh, a former faded glory British seaside resort when the working classes didn't have Boeing 737s to Malaga and Ibiza and uh, Shagaluf, Magaluf. It's a uh, how you'd expect. I'm surprised it's not busier today. It's uh, a sunny day in the British spring. It's uh, grotty. Grotty and shabby and it's so authentic, darling. It's a pandahomium. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can understand it's a building site, but I, uh, I don't think so, bro. It's so shabby, so very shabby, and there's the sea. So one block from the sea, you'd think, wow, expensive property, but not in Blackpool. Even the seagulls are laughing at me. Flats to let, Lucena, Botswana Hotel, Bosworth. We're pretty much at the sea now. There's the end of England. You can't even see Ireland today because it's a bit hazy. Not that you can anyway. You can't see Ireland or Northern Ireland from Blackpool. The Mercury Hotel. It looks almost swimmable, doesn't it, guys? It looks perfect. Uh, we're going for a swim now. Premier 
seafront, seaside, absolute on the front, no vacancies at the new Waterloo. Bloody hell. This is, is it, if this can pass as a, wow. That is shabby, that takes shabby to new, uh, I was gonna say that takes shabby to new heights, it takes shabby to new lows. I love the smell of the sea mist. Nice. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. She looks a bit rough today, guys. Hello. Whoa. Oh, it's going to get me. I think that's Storm Kathleen. God damn it, Kathleen. Go to Blackpool, they said. It's a nice English spring. You're here on the beach. The people are amazing. It's a lovely place. They're all friendly. No one's going to turn around and stare at me because I'm filming. Anyway, romance isn't dead. Look at that. Look at that, you can get all your Chantelles, your Connors, your Donnas and your Liams. Do you really love your woman if you've not taken her in a little plastic ball driven by some gypsies on Blackpool Promenade? No, you don't love her. Up the cabaret light bar on, on the beach. And uh, look how drunk the show is. Hey, you all right, lads? Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll cook you a nice breakfast, lads. Just give us a minute. I don't believe Blackpool is real. I've been down here before, but I'm suffering some Mandela effect. Like the the the, the Bogdanov is like, oh, we, we here Charlie is going to Blackpool, make it even more, change the matrix, make it even more shabby. Bloody hell! Look at that! It's a casino for children, a casino for kids. Get your toddler into gambling. The man found my bar. I'm going in for some vodka Red Bulls. And uh, I want three Jägermeisters poured in a pint of Guinness. Oh, Doris has had too much Blackpool Rock. Hello, Rainbow. Pat's 10p prize bingo. Wide line. He wants to go and sit next to Pat and play the bingo. Wide line, 7-0. Nice. You reckon this might be a bad idea, these replica... Um, might be a bad idea. Maybe. Oh god, careful lady. Hello ladies, hello. Hello. So what's good about Blackpool then? My condolences, I'm so sorry. I'm only joking, good luck. No, good luck, it'll be amazing, good luck. Fun palace. Fun palace. Yep, it looks fun. I can't be the only guy that finds these bendy, wavy, Day of the Triffids, H.G. Wells invading alien art things scary. It's windy today, we're getting gusts of between 40 to 50 miles an hour. And uh, there's, there's just no need for that. You're scaring the kids, take them down. <laughs> Love you, doggy. Thank you. Look at that, very nice. Oi. Hey guys, remember? last year when the orange orange plastic tarpaulin was flapping in the wind and we all thought it was on fire. Do you remember? Clean shaven Mario. Clean shaven Mario. They should film the sequel to Requiem for a Dream, not at Coney Island, just outside New York, but here in Blackpool. Na 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 Sing it, bro, sing it. So I've been in the town, Blackpool City, I mean, for about half an hour. That's how long it takes to walk from the free parking through to the immediate city centre. It's... Uh, the word for today 
is shabby. It's shabby chic. Or maybe it's shabby without the chic, but uh, I don't feel unsafe. I've not come across my first crackhead yet. Maybe that's why. We're looking down towards the beach. Blackpool Tower is just there. It's one of the pedestrian drags next to the, the works. And uh, there's a missing unit. James Scott's trying to sell it. Or is he just a surveyor? He's just a surveyor. British Heart Foundation. They found uh, this premises was a bit big. They've gone, but they're over there. Look at that. Hardly any differentiation between the road and the pavement. The theory being it makes everyone act a little bit more cautiously. Am I on the road or am I on the pavement? Who knows? Yeah, I approve. I do actually approve. I think it's quite European. You see this a lot in Holland. Abingdon Street Market, just behind Blackpool Church. And a nice big uh, Victorian warehouse. Of course, totally abandoned. Although, maybe remove some of the crackies. Not that I've seen any, but uh, remove maybe some of the non-tax-paying, non-job types. Bring in some uh, Manchester hipsters. Give them a nice uh, studio apartment in there. Boom! Next thing you know, there'll be cafes selling oat milk lattes left, right, and center. Gentrification. Mm -mm -mm. You guys want to see something wrong? I'll show you something wrong. Not wrong as in it's incorrect. Wrong as in it, it shouldn't be here. This lady up ahead parked on the pavement with her cash guy. Very lucky. Traffic warden was all over it like white on rice. He was ready. He had his fucking... He had his booklet ready. He had his pen. There he goes. Crossing the street. Next time, mate, next time. Making drugs out of a trailer is cool, is it? Okay, viewers, all these images almost gave me, I don't know, I don't know, photonic chlamydia. And so I'm almost infected and so will you guys. Although the little tiger of yarn ain't so bad. It's an omen outside the church. Last time we were here, Laura found a £10 note over there. So, I'm going to try and go in for a change. Winter Gardens. Winter Gardens. Surely, surely, they're not going to kick off with a big man and his wee Samsung. I think we're going to get away with it. What art style is this? 20th century or 19th century? Wow. Okay. Quite liminal. I'm getting a... I'll get you um, one of these pillars. I'm getting a 1920s, 1930s Egypt vibe. Would you agree, viewer? And we come up this way. Bars and cafes. Yeah, I guess. This was built and designed in the 1920s and 1930s. Going by what we see. Very 20th century, I love it. Continuing the live theme, we'll, we'll do it live, we'll do it together, whoa! Okay, now we all know what it looks like inside Winter Gardens. We're almost out, but look at that. Is nice. Sights and sounds, ladies and gents. Sights and sounds. Little Britain. So, um, this man's offered me leeches, sir. How are you? I'm very well, mate, sir, because I have a toxination, a detoxination uh, myself every morning from my leeches. Now, Blackpool's freshest leeches, collected by my own dear old papa, Mabel, as you write there, Dan Lorenzen, is available only at the Showtime Museum. Showtime Museum just outside, what's it called, the Owlsville. And I am your doctor, your resident doctor, Dr. Thank Robert. you. Well, the, the viewers would love to see Veach get a couple of leeches. So Veach... oh, you're going to come a bit later, aren't you, sir? Oh, yeah, well, once you've... one left in here, but me old Mabel. Are, are you okay. keeping an eye on your mum, Mabel, if she's in the ocean? Oh, she knows what she's doing. Oh, she knows what she's doing. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Very nice, sir. Now, naming of a YouTube video award 2024 goes to Auditing Britain. 
He was recently searched, in my opinion, unlawfully, because the officer knew he was an auditor getting his photons for YouTube. And uh, he was searched by what appears to be a transgender officer. Not only did Auditing Britain ask for a gender-neutral officer to search him, <laughs> he then named his uh, video Coptimus Prime. Auditing Britain, we salute you, sir. I take back what I said earlier about the lack of crackheads. I've been here now about two hours, two and a half hours, and I'd say 50% of the people walking around the city centre now are crackheads, degenerates, junkies, bagheads, smackheads. And uh, they're all playing the same game. They're all playing the same game. I'm so unwell, I'm so ill, look what society's done for me. You have to give me loads of money, otherwise I'll starve. Nah, don't fall for it. 99% of them are just hateful, angry people destroying themselves very slowly and you're paying for it. That's the angriest Pepe I've ever seen. My God. This is what every entertainment venue would look like if the Nazis had won the war. This is your Fourth Reich in here. Just want to state my blood is too thick for Central Blackpool. The vibrations are turning nasty in here. Not much sure how much longer I can survive amongst these people. What's that? Brother, what's that? Ugh. Councils often employ private security and they go around with body cams and radios. It's uh has he gone into essentials? I think he has, he's gone in. So crackhead's been stealing from the shop. They call the police, there's no police, the council sends a little councilman with no police powers down. He turns up, says nothing I can do. The Labour-run council left wing says, well, we feel sorry for all the crackheads. Let them lie around and piss and shit everywhere and shoplift and take drugs. They're victims. And then, you know, it, it creates more homeless, more disgustingness. People don't want to invest here. People don't want to start a business. There he goes. Where's he going to go now? There's our There goes our hero. Yeah, so uh, it's not rocket science. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe NASA needs to release some papers that if you actually take care of the city center and uh, stop slow suiciders in terms of narcotics enthusiasts and thieves, more people might do well. He's filling it up in on his little pad. Hey guys, hello. Welcome to Blackpool. Enjoy the enlightenment of the area. Stick here, I'll make you one with everything. Oh, don't avoid the camera, you look so good. <laughs> Fine Buddhists. These guys would never kick out the Rohingya. No, they, they love the Rohingya. If you get the reference. No, I didn't, it's okay. Putana High School United. I'm sure that's Italian for something not very nice. On a Sunday, our security stroke traffic warden is uh, punishing punishing the residents of Blackpool for parking how dare they park here on a Sunday I think he's gonna do all four of them oh no what, what a harvest look at that he's even got a disabled badge look. even with a disabled badge oh but these poor disabled people what about this one what about this one? This one drives a Sangyong. He's not a rich man, he drives a Sangyong with a disabled bag. Oh, they're probably on benefits. Anyway, I'm not having a go, I'm just doing a YouTube video, don't worry. So, this is your car, you've got a disabled badge. What, oh, yes. what happened? We were just bagged because there is no space for parking. Yeah, and there's, there's no sign. I don't see any signs here. There's no sign, so just appeal it. You should probably get off it anyway. Good luck, guys. If you can, good luck. And that, dear viewers, is why I park on the outskirts where there's no parking regulations. 
the thought of someone in a uniform giving you a penalty, a punishment, because you've been a naughty boy or a naughty girl, don't like that. I'm ready for many things today, but I'm not ready for crackhead Groot. That, that's, uh, that's made me question everything. So they just turned right. Uh, a group of four boys, maybe about 11, 12 years old, getting kicked out of the shopping mall. They just tried to steal in Primark as well. I'll try and, uh, well, yeah, try and get some drama for you guys. Coming up to Drummer's Joke Shop. Because farts and shits and fart noises will never not be funny. Yeah, one block from the beach. Let's have a look inside Kingsley Hotel. Literally have a look inside. Hi. What's good? I want to play a game with my viewers. It's going to be, the game is, is the car abandoned or is it parked? We'll begin with the BMW X5. Abandoned or parked? You decide. We'll go slowly. We'll go slowly. Land Rover Freelander. Abandoned or simply parked up? Who knows? <laughs> uh, oh, here's an obscure one. Daihatsu 4Runner? Am I doing what? 4Track. 4Track. Well done, Charlie. Daihatsu 4Track. Is it parked or is it abandoned? 13-year-old Vauxhall Insignia. Is it parked or is it abandoned? Chevrolet Spark. Cheapest car possible. Parked or abandoned? 11-year-old Golf. I'd say that's parked. I want to present to you modern Britain. We'll take it in turns. We'll, we'll zoom in on the, 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 imp imp the, the important things here next to Tito's, Tito's chicken. Right, okay, let's start with Buy Low Bargains convenience store. But wait! New advanced installation of CCTV to keep an eye on the crackheads. And that's not enough. How about a cigarette waste art gallery? Yes. Yes. Look up to your nearest CCTV camera so that your face may be logged and recorded against the database. And don't you dare drop your rubbish because we'll, we'll just send a fine in the post. Just saw that street behind me. There's a really nice liminal shot with no entry signs. I'm there waiting for that car with two guys in it to move. And they're looking at me. I hold my camera up. They're like, is he, is he on us? I'm like, no, no, no. And then I'm just waiting. And they meet one of their clients to sell narcotics. And it's like, yeah. Very nice. What is it? What is that? Telecommunications, Wi-Fi, 5G? Sign of the times, the Revo Library. Yeah, look at it, it's just abandoned now. It's uh, a husk. 